Christian. Christian. What's up? Do you want your Christmas present? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right, Joe, we're good. Dude, it's fucking snake. Oh, God. Dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> do you like it, dude? I love it, dude. Did y'all go take that? Yeah, we went and took it today. <laughs> At your parents' house. Got changed for everybody. You know how hard it was to get Nala to sit like that? <laughs> Shaw Dog is. He, what is he doing? What? Shawley, stop. Shawley, stop. What? Oh my gosh. Well, Merry Christmas! Damn, Santa, so you look different. I, I can't wow, talk. Wow, that's a lot of gifts. Why do you have so many? I brought two. I can't really, I can't really see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that Max are both wearing great shoes. He's gonna see it before I am. Oh, shoot. Watch case? Hell yeah, dude. Damn, that's a good gift. Oh, wow. nice, man. That's a good... Hey, it's open Max. We can go get some of those. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be big enough for your fat head? Yeah, it should be. Porsche Poppy. Porsche Poppy! Oh, man. Hell yeah, bro! All right, Ava, let's try this out. All right, no, I'm, I'm going to throw this on three, and you catch it. Don't let it just hit you in the face, okay? One, two, three. Oh, well, oh. maybe next year. Since we have not done a full workout on this channel in a while, I'm going to walk you through today's kind of shoulder emphasis. Starting with the overhead press barbell, 140 pounds on there. Oh, stop that. Got my belt on, keep the glutes tight, brace your core, press, baby. Easy peasy. Five reps. In the next movement. No, this isn't a warm up, this is my actual weight. We're now moving into probably one of my most hated exercises. This is like, I think, this is equally as hard as the overhead press. The, the incline barbell is so hard. I've sucked at it my entire life. But we're just doing 135. Just, I'm hoping for like 12. Yeah, I can, I can get 12, right? Yeah. This is gotta believe, dude. God damn, bro. Are you actually making those hoodies? What? Are you making those Dude, hoodies? Dude, don't talk to my set, bro. Oh. What? Are you making those hoodies? Oh, uh, they're, they're already live. Oh, for real? Yeah, uh, $29.99, free shipping. <laughs> $5 international. Shipping. Shut up! <laughs> oh, I think I was 15. Next up, some lateral raises. To be honest, you hit your delts a lot with any sort of pressing. So even like the inclines are hitting a lot of your front delts. So I try to put a lot of emphasis on my side delts. As you can tell, it's paying off big for me. I don't have this machine back at home, so it's nice to kind of do you know, something different. But still kind of stand, shoulders a little bit retracted. Same type of like, you know, elbow placement as you would with a dumbbell. Just like this. I like to do reps between anywhere, if I'm going a little heavier, I'll do 10 to 12. But usually for lateral raises, I like to go about 15 to 20. One thing that I love about my current training is that I essentially have numbers for the initial movement and then after that I have a lot of flexibility with the accessories. So when I travel, I hang out with the girls, you know, I can just do all the accessory movements that, you know, I, I guess wouldn't really make sense in a traditional program, but I like training this way unless I'm on prep. So right now we're doing flat dumbbell, higher reps, 60 pounds. Ooh. I like to uh, point my elbows in a little bit, so instead of flaring out, tuck my elbows, takes a little stress off the of shoulders, takes a little stress off of shoulder guys. Suck on my tooth. 
kind of need to wrap up the workout because I need to get home and shower because I'm stanky and then get on the plane to go back home. But finishing out with a tricep and rear delt superset. So just some rope extensions, full extension, get that chicken tenderloin going. About 12, 15, and then straight into a face pull. These are gonna essentially just go like you're doing a bicep, I mean, I don't have any biceps, but just go like you're doing a bicep pose. And a lot of people usually do them like this, or like this, I like to do them overhand, I guess. And just go, little squeeze, just like this. Really hits your rear delts. Don't neglect your rear delts, guys. If you get bigger rear delts, your bench will go up. At least that's what I've heard. But wrapping up the workout, three, two, one. Ugh. See you at home. Okay, so Shawley gave me a ride home. Christian had to stay back and do some work. Guys, if you haven't noticed, I've been going a little bit longer between uploads. Not crazy amounts, but for the past two years or so, I have been putting out a video every other day. So one day gap in between my videos. But recently, starting from when I was in Europe and through Texas right now, I've been going two days in between videos. And the reason is, oh, hold on, I think my Uber's here. is because guys I'm a vlogger if you haven't figured it out it started out as strictly fitness now I let you more into my life into my heart into my very small brain and when I vlog like I, I don't do always like these extravagant things when I'm at home like I was kind of feeling like I was almost forcing myself to like try to do stuff to, like because make content I was like half put about a video every other day regardless of what it is and I just like I was doing the same thing over and over again and like my life gets repetitive and I feel like I don't want to show you guys the same stuff over and over and over and over again so instead of trying to like force content maybe if i take a couple extra days in between my videos i can maybe you know take the highlights and put a little more effort because i try to put out entertaining stuff i try to show you you know that i just do the daily stuff but i try to make it fun i try to be fun and just entertain and make you guys laugh make you cringe make you hate me i don't know but like the other reason is hold on i need, I need to check in And the other reason is that recently, the past like four or five videos, my views have been going up. The channel's been growing. And I, I know you might think, like, Max, that's just because you're in Texas. That's just you're with Christian. There's no way that your channel could actually be growing. Well, what if it is? So I'm going to do a little test, maybe take two days in between. And, I, and not everyone has time to watch my video every other day, right? Like, especially when I'm vlogging, just doing basic stuff. Like, do you know how, how many, like, relationships I've probably ruined? It's like, hey, Billy, come watch Pretty Little Liars with me. Uh, hold on, Max uploaded another damn video and I can't miss it, I gotta watch every one. And she's like, God damn it, Billy! That Max is just, you know what, why don't you just sleep on the couch tonight? Like, I don't want people to break up because I upload too many videos. And my other thought is, uh, hold on, I think the plane's boarding. for two weeks and look at all the freaking packages dude we will get to that a little bit later in the video but my last thought on you know going one extra day just one extra day in between my videos maybe is I just want to see if the channel keeps growing because a huge goal of mine like I've been making videos for a long time over four years and a huge goal of mine has always been to hit over a hundred thousand views on like my videos and seeing the past couple ones just get a lot of views and more and more people come to the channel. It's just an awesome feeling. And, uh, you know, I try to put out entertaining content that makes you laugh, makes you, uh, you know, feel some type of way. Whatever you get out of my content, I hopefully, hopefully it's bringing a positive vibe into your day. And to see the channel grow, and if I take like one extra day in between, if that can allow the channel to grow even more. And it's just, it's cool seeing, you know, 
all the work that I've put in over the past four years continue to increase and to continue to see more and more people come to the channel and leave comments showing love and I thank you. And if, you know, I don't know if this helps the channel and everyone always says it, but like, if you guys could just hit the thumbs up button on videos if for any reason you enjoyed them, if that helps grow the channel, it would mean the world to me. If there's 100,000 of you that watched the video, you know, I just need a couple percent of that to smash thumbs up button and maybe the channel will just take off. And we'll beat out Logan Paul, dude! Probably not, but thank you so much. Hopefully you don't miss me if I'm gone one extra day. If something really cool is happening, I promise to put out more and more content. But your boy Max is not going anywhere. You're not going to get rid of these sick angles, dude. I'll see you tomorrow. Not, not in the next, we're going to keep this video going. I'll see you in the morning. We're going to undo these packages. Who doesn't like packages? I love pa well, not those types of packages, but I love these types of packages. Good morning. Time to show you what was in those packages. Not all of them, though, because some of them were Christmas presents. Ah, okay. First up. Rode Microphones actually reached out to me and sent me a bunch of swag, so shout out to them. They sent me a Stereo Video Mic X, a Condenser Studio Microphone, they sent me a Lav Mic, they sent me the more advanced Filmmaker Wireless Lav Mic, and then they sent me the Video Mic Pro Plus, which I'm really excited about. So this is the mic that I currently use, the Shure Lens Hopper VP83. It's very, very small and compact, and it works really well, but the issue is this thing crackles a lot because when I film in movie mode on here, the audio level stays the same. So if my voice gets higher, it's gonna crackle because the microphone doesn't know that my voice is going up, so it doesn't adjust, and I try to adjust it in post, and it's just frustrating, and then sometimes you're like, Max, this audio sucks, and I'm like, I'm sorry. And I think it's this mic's fault. So this is the brand new Rode mic, and as you can see, uh, it's gigantic compared to this bad boy, but some benefits of this is I tested it out last night and it actually works pretty well at adjusting the volume. We're well, not adjusting the volume, it's just like it, it muffles it. It just sounds really, really good. Uh, after this clip, we'll start using this from here on out. But another benefit of this bad boy is that it auto turns on and off. It's not powered by the camera, but it the camera tells it when to turn on, when to turn off, so then your Potato Max won't uh, miss any clips because it just, it, it's, it's magic. Wow, that's so sick. So shout out to Rode, shout out to Guma because I got home and freaking had four cases of Up, which I'm super stoked to drink and even more stoked to have to move this to my apartment in one week. Next up is I got a new phone case. This is a, like a silicone rubbery because I got this clear one. And everyone kept telling me that, wow, Max, that's like the girliest case in the world. So I can't have more haters in my life. So I switched to this bad boy. This is only like 15 bucks on Amazon. The Apple ones are like $50. And I was like, hell no. Next up is I got four new sticks of RAM, 8 gigs, the Corsair DDR4-2400. Already installed these into my computer Dora, But now we have 64 gigs of RAM. Is that overkill? You bet your sweet ass it is. Next up is a dual battery charger and two new batteries for this A7R3, which I need to review. Just as a size comparison, look at, this is the A7S battery. This is an A7R3 battery. Like, it's so, like, much bigger, dude. And I would highly recommend anyone who has an A7S3 or R3 or whatever, always get a dual charger. It's the best. Next, stop, get out of the way. Next up. I needed a new memory card, so I decided to upgrade to pretty much this is, I think it's the fastest memory card they make right now. It is a 300 freaking read speed, or 300 read speed, 299 write speed. This is like a very fast memory card. Kind of expensive, but you know what? You're worth it. And wrapping it up, we got a nice throw blanket from my stepmom for Christmas. Thank you to her. Uh, we got... From the shoe plug, well, Lawrence, who films for Ghost, he knows a guy who knows a guy or whatever, and they got me a brand new pair of the freaking French Beige NMDs because these are my absolute favorite shoes. I think these are the sickest color ever, and I have these already, but mine are so disgustingly dirty, and I'm just, I'm really excited. I got these for an amazing deal, like pretty much retail, and they're brand new. Oh my God, it's so sick. And the coolest thing you're probably most excited for it's a freaking air fryer, dude. It's a fryer that uses air. I know, we're gonna film a whole day of eating. Can I, what, what should I air fry? Like uh, uh, sour candy, uh, my face, I don't know. But this is all the cool stuff. Uh, that's, that's what I got in the mail. All right, let's go to the office, dude.